Today I'm going to interview my mom, who is a second generation Vietnamese immigrant. Hello! Should we just start with how you arrived to the U.S.? Tell me a little bit about that. So my mom has the focus point where we need to escape so we can continue to school in the United States. Um, the school principal already informed my mom that um, we cannot continue school uh, to ninth grade. So seventh grade, eighth grade, we had to stop. They found out that my dad worked for American Air Force and he lived in the United States at that time. So we escaped 30 years overseas. We got to Hong Kong and um, was, a, was a refugee there for one year. And how did you feel about that as such a young kid? We couldn't escape for, for like more than 11 times, 12 times. I got hooked to it. I got I got um, excited whenever my mom called, let's go to the boat. And my uh, my heart rates to, to excitement because I know if I escape today, Tomorrow, I will go to a different country. Then can I ask if you had heard of the term the American dream at that age, what do you think that lifestyle, I guess, would be? What do you think that dream was to you then? Yeah, at that age, um, all you have, all I was thinking that, um, yeah, America is a big country. It's a beautiful, beautiful weather because of all this picture that my dad sent right uh, to us and we see a lot of green fields that we don't see that in Vietnam so um and also a lot of good food at that time we always we our mind at that my mind at that time for 13 or 14 years old very simple okay so my next question would be when you arrived to the U.S. and you started attending school high school college is it what you expected? Actually, yes. Um, my imagine, uh, imagination of school in the United States um, was um, very broad at the time when I was in Hong Kong. However, my teacher already, already like um, gave me some idea what school like. Um, they did an assessment test to see how my English and math. They put me right in. I don't have to take any um, ESL. Was there any like racial tension? We, I fit right in because those people are, you know, this is still Asian. So we, we was able to um, make friends right away. To me, I don't see there is any racism going on where I went to school. Maybe it's because high school. Right. We, we kids. Because at that time, the big issue for high school is that health education one kid to stay out of AIDS and HIV. Yeah, we don't talk about racism at that time. When COVID hit, did you know all the, the hate crimes that happened and stuff like that? It's, it's a, it, it people problems. And it creates all that tension, right? Yeah, so... The, the, all this movement that create more tension to people having problems. Its community should come together and talk about and edu 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 educate their own family and people. It really depends on how you teach your kids and how you um, what society you live in and what community you live in. During that time, um, it is um, you know it is what it is that make people panic. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on, on people, how you treat others and how pe others see you. It's not like I mind of my own business or I think my own business, but I see that it's very normal. The last thing I want to know is, do you think that you achieved the American dream that you thought of? Yeah, I achieved my schooling. Yes, absolutely. My, ed my education through high school, college. I have no regret. It's, it's actually um, school was a big achievement for me. Yes. All right. Thank you for your time, Mom. I learned a lot from you today. You're welcome.